Aquagen from traditional to modern selective breeding. In the early 1970s, scientists from the Agricultural University of Norway traveled the country and collected large, healthy broodfish from 40 Norwegian salmon rivers. The goal was to breed the best salmon for aquaculture. Today, their descendants occupy approximately half of Norway's salmon pens. Present-day farmed salmon looks like it did in the 70s, but it has become more resistant to disease and parasites. It grows faster and has a better fillet quality. The company that now operates the breeding program is called Aquagen. Selective breeding is the art of choosing which individuals in a population should produce offspring. Picking the fastest growing salmon is not difficult. But how can we avoid siblings mating and prevent inbreeding? How can we select the most disease-resistant fish when infected fish cannot be used to produce the next generation? And how can we tell which have the best flesh color without killing the fish. In the beginning, these problems were solved through family-based selection, which gives a complete overview of the relationship between each fish. Inbreeding is then avoided, and siblings of the most disease-resistant fish are selected to produce the next generation. But there is great variation within families. The recipe for all traits in an organism is found in its DNA. The salmon DNA contains 3 billion DNA base pairs, which make up the recipe for more than 40,000 genes. Within these genes, thousands of mutations have occurred during the evolutionary history of the salmon. Some of these mutations are advantageous to individual fish. The viral disease, infectious pancreatic necrosis, caused high mortality and economic losses in Norwegian salmon farming until scientists in Aquagen found salmon with a mutation that affects how susceptible a salmon is to this disease. And in 2009, the first eggs from DNA-tested IPN-resistant broodfish were delivered to the Norwegian salmon industry. The result was a 90% reduction in IPN outbreaks over the next 10 years. Since then, Aquagen has found beneficial mutations for pancreas disease, cardiomyopathy syndrome, fillet color, and heart and skeletal muscle inflammation. This method works when the trait is controlled by single genes. However, most traits such as whole body growth and sea lice resistance are not controlled by single genes, but by thousands of genes. So, in order to find the salmon with the fastest growth and highest lice resistance, we must examine mutations from as much of the salmon DNA as possible. Thousands of beneficial mutations in the test fish are compared to mutations in the breeding candidates. Those who have most mutations in common are selected for breeding. This is called genomic selection. In 2012, Aquagen started searching for the genetic fingerprint of lice-resistant salmon. The result is an Atlantic salmon that attracts 50% fewer lice. Much has changed since the first broodfish were collected from Norwegian salmon rivers. Today, salmon farming is a high-tech industry with an ever-increasing control over the various biological processes. With salmon collected from 40 Norwegian rivers, the genetic variation within 1,000 salmon families and 100,000 breeding candidates per generation, Aquagen continues the work of enhancing the best genetics to meet ongoing challenges in the global aquaculture industry.